Hey everyone, my name is James, and today we're finally covering one of the most requested videos I've had since starting the Top 5 series. That's right, today we're finally tackling my Top 5 Favourite Glitches in Terraria. Now usually, I don't actually use glitches in the games all that often. In fact, I don't actually like glitches in most games that I play. I've always been a person who likes to play a game without any sort of help. However, all of the glitches I'm featuring today can actually be extremely useful to you guys in the right situation. Now, the strange thing about all of the glitches I'm covering today is that the creators of the game actually know that they're there and have purposely left them in the game in some form. For example, we're going to take a look at one aspect of hoiking in the video, which was intentionally left in by Relogic and then had to be ported over to console by Pipeworks with that glitch intact. The same thing can be said about some of the other glitches we discussed today. So before beginning this list, please be aware that some glitches may not be in the game if you're watching this in the future. You may also risk corrupting something in the game at some point if you try any of these out, so please take caution before attempting them. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Five. This first glitch crosses over from being a glitch to an actual feature in the game. In the 1.3 update, the game added flower boots to the underground jungle chests, allowing players to instantly grow flowers and grass on top of dirt. Now, the exploit here actually comes from the bait that drops when you break flowers on top of dirt. Therefore, if you use something like a flare to consistently break the flowers on top of mud in the jungle and just stand there, you'll actually get an unlimited supply of bait. This is actually extremely useful for fishing and will save you running around the world breaking flowers just to get bait. This one is also great because it doesn't require much effort and can be done at the very early stages of the game, since all you need is the boots, a flare gun, and a bug net. Four. So now we move on from unlimited bait to unlimited money. Like I mentioned at the start, I don't like using glitches all that much, but when you have a glitch that can only be done at the very end of the game, well, it seems pretty balanced. To start this glitch, you first need to go into multiplayer, which can be done by hosting your own world. Then you stack two teleporters on top of each other and place a lunar monoglyph on top of that. Simply destroy the teleporters and you should find the monolith suspended in the air. If your monolith isn't floating, then that means you've missed the first step and you're not in multiplayer. Then all you do is repeatedly right click on the monolith until you've collected as many as you need. Simply sell those at any vendor to get yourself an unlimited supply of money. This is great if all you're doing is messing around with reforging your endgame armor, and it isn't that complicated to do. Three. So this one is just for you console players and allows you to duplicate all of your items without needing a second player or any kind of help. The first thing you do is dump your full inventory into a chest and then leave the world. This is letting the game save so that it knows where your items are. You then rejoin the game and disable the auto save feature in the options menu. Go back to the chest that you used and withdraw your inventory. Making sure you have that autosave feature turned off, find a way to kill your player, which I demonstrate by making him take a bunch of fall damage. While on that death screen, press the home button on either console and exit out of the game. The next time you log into your world, you will find that you have all of your items in your inventory and then a second set within the chest. This is pretty time consuming, so be sure to duplicate the items you actually want all at once. This is pretty game breaking, so only do this if you want to have fun, because otherwise it's just going to ruin the whole progression of the game. Two. Hoiking has become a very famous glitch in Terraria since its accidental introduction in Terraria 1.2. For unknown reasons, the addition of slopes created a bizarre method of making players and items accelerate or no clip through certain areas of the game in a very rapid motion, and with the right practice you can actually use it to do some very crazy stuff. Now one of the main uses for hoiking for those who don't have time to learn everything is the hoik elevator. This is the most reliable elevator that can be made in Terraria and is actually super simple to make. First make the start of the hoik by placing a sloping block to the right above the player's head. Then creating a one space block to the left and then two above that place another block sloping to the left. Then place a block every three blocks to create the length of your elevator. Every block you place needs to be hammered three times so that the slope faces to the left. Once you're happy with how high your elevator is, simply jump up in the middle of the blocks at the bottom using the rope to guide you and you will travel ultra fast up the elevator. It's really, really hard to explain this so be sure to rewatch the demonstration to find out exactly how I created it if you need that help. One. This final glitch has become an absolute legend since it was first discovered a couple of years ago. It was removed from the game and then was actually re-added into the game in the latest update. 
This glitch is actually really easy to do and allows you to create unlimited fishing lines, making fishing extremely easy to complete. First, you need to activate auto pause in the options menu, which freezes the game every time you open your inventory. Simply cast the line into the pond and then open your inventory, select something in your inventory and right click to throw it out. And when you unpause, the game will fire an additional two lines depending on where your mouse is facing. This can be a little tricky at first, but after a few attempts, it's really simple. You can actually keep going with this until you fill your entire screen and then watch as tons of loot gets pulled in at once. This bug completely ruins the fishing progression though, so only do it if you're completely okay with that. You can make farming crates an absolute breeze, so whether you do this glitch is completely up to you. I personally really like fishing, so I never use this glitch, but it is without a doubt one of the most useful and visually interesting glitches ever seen in Terraria. So that's about it for my top 5 glitches in Terraria. Why not let me know what your favourite glitch is by leaving a comment down below. If you haven't seen me before, my name is James and for almost 7 years now I've been making Terraria videos covering absolutely everything to do with the game. So if you want to learn a little bit more, why not click subscribe and stick around for future content. If not, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.